We need to pull you off your tail for now. Are you ready to fight? Safe, fam. It was a rhetorical question. I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant. The Room, Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. You what? Are you saying we got to go after the man in control of all of them mugs? Goose stepping across London? That man will fry us the minute we get close to him. Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Which is fucked up. Just saying. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellardi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellardi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellardi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellardi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellardi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellardi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic.
Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Let's knock down his door then, yeah? Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Bit paranoid, isn't he? To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Got it. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Bugsy boy, how about the windows up there? Access point, maybe? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. On it. Nah, fuck that, fam. Full trap set up, yeah? You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. On it. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. All right, bruv, just relax. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? You what, mate? Nah, I think resistance. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Listen to me, listen. Look, Albion knows you're in London. You've got to run, you fucking idiot. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, cuss is worse than you know. Yeah, bruv, I know. I know, like, I mean, what do you think I came here for, man? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. Yo, look, I'm here to get your help. We want to take down Cass. 
Look, he started all the bombings, and then he tried fucking ending us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is. Hey, what? No, no, no! Oh, fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. Guess you weren't fuck. lying about that part. Fuck. Think, think. Shit, fine. We'll table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. Get out the pursuit and coming back. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We could have some mad plan to fix all his problems with robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I gotta switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. What we need is an insider on the team. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Bro, that's full tight security. Even for us. Gonna be hectic. I'd like to help, fam, but now I just caught a whiff now. With all the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption? I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby.
All right? You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? And Cass is launching some new fucking project. Whatever it is, all of us are in big trouble. We have to do something, and this is all we got. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Interesting. Send me their info, yeah? I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. Recruit an Albion waste man? Sounds dumb as fuck. They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity is much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking? Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. Your hench, mate. I think you got what it takes to save London. Oh, you're with DeadSec. Oh, that's Brill. I actually need your help with something. Maybe, if we're not too busy. What's up? My friend's got this rare blood disorder, and with the NHS and the state it's in, he hasn't been able to get proper treatment in months. A Clan Kelly doctor said they'd help for a price. What else could I do? I paid. Keep talking. The drugs worked. We were so relieved, but then everything went downhill. You see, these drugs are actually addictive. My friend became dependent, and then the doctor decided to increase the price. Now we don't know what to do. I'm sorry, Blood, but look, don't worry. We'll do whatever we gotta do to help your mate. Not interested. Well, this quote-unquote doctor is a real winner. He was struck off the medical register for gross malpractice last year, and now he's a freelance mob surgeon. Nice work if you can get it. You set to track him down, Max? I am quite literally always tracking everyone down. Pushing you with coordinates now. Clan Kelly doctor you're looking for is close by. Seems he's got a laptop with him too, presumably with a folder somewhere on it labelled crimes. the laptop. 
boss is getting ready to blast. Scraped. Get to safety while I analyze the data. Where's Ditsek been hiding this? I found them at warehouse when experimental drugs are being stored. I'm sure Mary Kelly won't mind if you nick a few. a vehicle nearby with at least two years worth of treatments inside that's more than enough to wean our contacts friend off the treatment got it there's the vehicle with the drugs in it try not to destroy it Right now, what? I found a safe location where a friend can pick it up. Sending you the coordinates now. Welcome back to the upload. Today we're talking about cryptocurrency. Crypto now seems like it's been around forever, but it's really quite a new invention. Were you an early adopter? I was one of the first that was in this market. That's four units, possible suspects, four suspects reporting. Control, we are pursuing the suspects. Over. Control, I've lost the target.
Control, I can't see the suspect. Please advise. All units, disengage. Suspect has disappeared. I done what you said. We have the location of the drugs too. We'll send the deets along. Your mate will be sorted, yeah? If there's any way I can ever help you, just let me know. Hey, our squad always needs new blood. You in? Hell yes, I'm in. We have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. Control, we are unsighted of suspects. Over. We're returning to HQ, over.
hostile at your location. Somebody help the officer. Over. All units, we are after the suspect. Can anyone see the suspect? Target is long gone. Disengage. Over and out. 